This bakery business in Dunstable is precisely the kind of fast-growing export firm that the government says stands to flourish in a post-Brexit world. From its inception 30 years ago, it's now doing so well it sells naan bread to India. No wonder then that Liz Truss, the Treasury Minister and former Remainer, chose this factory as the backdrop for her message that business will be better off outside the EU. With revenues over 100 million and exports to 40 different countries, there's no denying the minister's claim that this is a British success story. But precisely because of its reliance on exports and the fact that 60% of its staff are from Eastern Europe, this business stands to be particularly hard hit in the event of a no-deal Brexit. Ms Trust may sound positive, it's like a crazy pancake. but with Brexit plans at best half-baked, her boss, the Chancellor, has warned a no deal will hit the economy hard. Cue Theresa May downplaying those forecasts and yet more mixed messages for firms like these. The Chancellor said that a no deal will have a damaging effect on the economy and public finances. Do you agree with that? Well, of course it's going to be better for us to secure a good deal with the European Union. But do you but agree with also, him or the Prime Minister? She well, says it wouldn't be the them. end of the world, and he says it would have a damaging effect on the economy and public finances, which is true. Well, I agree with both of them. Uh, they're both my bosses, and they are both right about the future, which is that we want to get a good deal with the European Union. That's our priority. But certainly no deal is not the end of the world. We are fully prepared for it. We have put 1.5 billion forward to make sure that we get that and we will carry on trading with the European Union, deal or no deal. Doesn't sound Companies like you agree like, with your boss there though. I do agree with my so boss. So you do absolutely. concede it would have a damaging effect on the economy and public finances? Well, I do, I do agree that getting a deal, a good deal, Not quite the which same. fits the European Union would be better than no deal. But if we can't get that deal that we want, we have to be prepared to go no deal. Tensions too on the factory floor where workers like Monica from Poland and Claudio from Romania are worried about their future. I'm, I'm worried for our situation post Brexit because uh, we came here uh, to uh, work, to do a good job. Of course we scared uh, if after Brexit we will get a job, we can work here and we can get money. Yeah? But we hope there will be not so many changes. Over 500 of the 900 staff here are Eastern European. A previous incarnation of the factory was the subject of an undercover investigation which revealed serious health and safety issues. It's now under new management who say they've completely overhauled the business. They've expanded to India and export globally. But a no deal with Europe would hurt. Can you honestly say that some version of checkers, a diluted checkers or no deal is better for a business like this than staying as they are in some form of customs union? Yes, you can. I absolutely can say that. So how did the visit go down with the boss? So the minister came here today, mm. um, understand that's, that's good for you on one level, but yes. did you actually get any of the answers that you wanted to your question? No, we didn't have that at, uh, precious time that we needed to, to get those answers. And that's a shame for you? It is a shame. He's pulling his punches, perhaps, but up the road at this rubber tile manufacturer, director Lucinda O'Reilly lays it on the line. So when a minister comes here and says, we're going to get a good deal, don't worry, does that make you feel any better? Well, no, not really, because we just haven't seen any concrete evidence of that so far. And when the cabinet is so obviously split down the middle and can't even agree between themselves, which reflects the country, I suppose, it doesn't give us any confidence at all. And uncertainty is uh, the greatest of all evils for business because it's impossible to plan and to know if we're going to be able to invest in the coming years. The next few weeks are critical as Britain enters the final stages of negotiation. Two years on from the referendum, business says all it wants is a clear sense of direction. Well, earlier I spoke to the Conservative MP and leading Brexiteer John Whittingdale, formerly in the Cabinet, of course. I began by asking what he's made of Michel Barnier's recent comments that the EU is prepared to offer the UK an unprecedented deal. 
I'm actually going to be going to Brussels on Monday with the exiting the European Union Select Committee, and we have a meeting with Mr. Barnier. So we will go, encouraged by his remarks, but wanting to find out a lot more about what he is actually suggesting. If he's gone along with the Chequers offer from Theresa May, is that something you'd vote for? Well, I don't like the Chequers deal. I don't think it delivers what people voted for. It leaves us still under the control of the European Union through this so-called common rule book, which we uh, have said that we might sign up to. And I think a lot of my colleagues feel that that actually doesn't deliver Brexit. Now, for the first time, he seems to be suggesting that there can be a specific deal for Britain, which goes further than some of the ones which have been signed with other countries. That, I think, is good news. Uh, I'd like to see a sort of Canada plus plus. And, and how quickly do you think that could be negotiated, given this process has got to run its course and then we're due to Brexit in March? Indeed. And it always seemed likely that actually we wouldn't get a deal until we were very close to the deadline. The way the European Union works is that whatever deadline you set, they still don't reach agreement until sort of five minutes before it expires. I'm not fearful of our failing to get an agreement. Aren't I, would, you? I would like to have an agreement. It, was, it is preferable. I mean, the, the trouble is that as, as people like you keep telling us that it doesn't matter if there's no deal, international businesses are voting with their feet, like Panasonic today. Well, it, it, there is always going to be some short-term disruption. It's a matter for Panasonic as to where they decide, and I'm, I'm still not clear exactly what it means in terms of the amount of activity that takes place here and elsewhere. You don't think it's bad for Britain? Well, obviously, if Panasonic have decided to move some employees overseas, I think that's a, a pity. Um, but I will continue to make the case as to why, whatever kind of arrangement we reach with the European Union, Britain is still a very good place to uh, centre business, international business activity. And an awful lot of other firms are actually doing that and are announcing that they're expanding their presence here. So no deal is somewhere between a pity and a disaster? Well, I have never said, uh, said that I wanted to have no deal. I would like to have a deal which is in both of our interests. But I you don't want remain... to vote on checkers, do you? That's the point. You want them to start negotiating on a Canada-style deal. I now, do. if they just don't do that, do you want to put in power a prime minister who will? I want the government certainly to come forward with proposals which, you know, seek to obtain a good a deal as possible, uh, but, but, as well as getting the right colleagues. Brexit is more important to you, surely than sticking by Theresa May? Getting the right Brexit or getting a good outcome is certainly um, the most important uh, factor, but I hope that the Prime Minister will see that actually the proposal that Chequers uh, reached doesn't really command the support of a large number of my colleagues in Parliament, nor does it apparently command support in the European Union. That's why I'm encouraged that Mr Barnier says that he is wanting to reach the uh, the closest deal uh, with another country that the European Union has re yet uh, signed. That represents a considerable movement from his original position, which was that we had to take one of the deals on the table.